Cornell is the latest of more than 50 so-called homegrown radicals arrested by the FBI in recent years. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin talked to security experts about how they track down these potential terrorists, Michael. Well, Lee, yeah, people have the right of freedom of expression, but when you begin to uh, act on that expression with certain threats, well, that's when law enforcement says they kick into action. Federal agents say Christopher Cornell's support of ISIS on Twitter is what first caught their attention. But with the billions of tweets sent out daily and Cornell using an Arabic alias, how in the world did they find him and foil his alleged plot to attack the U.S. Capitol? It is really a needle in the haystack. David Kennedy is a former NSA agent and owns an internet securities company based out of Hudson that deals with internet crimes, including national security. He says law enforcement uses behavioral analytics and mathematical algorithms to help them locate people using social media to plot terror attacks. You know, law enforcement has a lot of tools and techniques uh, that they can do to sift through a lot of this data very quick to kind of home in on individuals. They they can use those algorithms to identify people who may be more likely to be radicalized. Folks that begin to tweet out things like the FBI says Corneal did. The, the initial part is definitely when he, he specifically talks about wanting to go to the Capitol and, and commit uh, an attack. Notre Dame College professor and director of intelligence studies, Dr. John Hatsadoni, said someone tweeting that they hate the government won't necessarily get you on a watch list. It's when the threat is taken to the next level. The informant was able to gather and, and see that he had done plenty of research, um, knew the materials, um, had priceless about what he needed to build the, the pipe bombs, knew how much the, the firearms were gonna cost, how much the ammo was gonna cost. Now, Kennedy says it's simple. If you're not talking about things like blowing up the Capitol, then you don't have to worry about the government looking at your social media account. All right, we're live in the newsroom. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.